Hello, my Swerby friends. Happy Asynchronous Day, though Asynchronous Wednesday. It is Dr. Seuss week. I hope you enjoyed watching the uh, video with me today and seeing how the book and the movie could be the same or different. Today, because it is Wednesday, I have another book of Dr. Seuss's that I want to read to you. I want to read to you Wacky Wednesday. I love this book because it's kind of like an I Spy scavenger hunt book. So while he's talking about the silly things happening, you get to see him in the picture and it's up to you to figure out what's the weird thing going on. So I'm going to read this Wacky Wednesday book and if I were you, I would pause after I'm done reading each page. That way you can try and find all the things. But don't worry, I will point them out to you after I'm done reading the page, okay? So you can just pause it before finding out all the answers with me. There's a lot in here, so hopefully I get them all. I tend to find it all since I've read this many times, but if I forget, let me know in the comments below. What we'll be doing after we read the story is in your writer's notebook, which I'm excited I get to use my new one. Look, I didn't even put my name on it yet. We are going to be writing, what is something wacky that you can do. Now, if you can't think of anything, you could always write about something wacky that you've seen someone do or that someone you know can do. But if you have something wacky, let us know what it is. So I have something wacky I can do. I can touch my nose with my tongue. So, mm. <laughs> or I can do this thing that I know a lot of you see me doing in, um, in red light, green light. Uh, I just have a couple things that I like to do that are wacky, right? Because better weird than boring. So when you're done reading with me, I hope you have fun writing what your wacky thing is that you can do, and then we'll get a chance to share them. So I'm hoping that you could do it uh, today or in the next few days for Dr. Seuss week. So you'll be able to write what's the wacky thing you do, and then you can share it and show it in the Flipgrid attached to today's page, okay? Well, without further ado, let's read Wacky Wednesday with the flying shoe. Hey, that rhymed, I'm like Dr. Seuss. <sighs> okay. Here we have Wacky Wednesday by Dr. Seuss. It all began with that shoe on the wall. A shoe on a wall? Shouldn't be there at all. Then I looked up and I said, oh man, and that's how Wacky Wednesday began. So I'm seeing here that he has one, two shoes on the wall. So maybe that number is going to keep going up. I looked out the window and I said, gee, more things were wacky and I saw three. So now I will tell you what the wacky things are, but go ahead, pause the video, and then after you pause it and find everything, press play and I'll tell you where to find things, okay? Go ahead, you can pause the video now. Let me fix my camera. That way we can get a better look. Okay, my friends, I hope you had paused the video or you just like to find out for yourself or you like to have someone show you. So he's looking out the window and we see here that the sprinkler is going, but the, the, the hose got cut in half right here. And so the water should be spilling out, but it's still going. Another thing that you could see here is normally birds are eating worms, but this bird's going no and running away from the worm. Normally the early bird chases the worm, but it seems like the early worm's chasing the bird. The last thing is up in this apple tree, we have a whole bushel of bananas growing. So that's definitely wacky. I went down the hall and I said, hey, three more things were wacky today. Go ahead and pause. All right, let's see. So normally you'd be like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. Maybe that's the wacky thing. But in fact, we have an upside down picture so that's definitely wacky we have one of the legs of the table is a candy cane and then lastly this door has two door handles so i think they're trying to make you look at the pictures and think this is wacky but we got some other things here 
In the bathroom, oh geez, more. In the bathroom, four. There I go, I'll cover his booty. So go ahead, pause the video. Now I definitely saw one of these here. There's a giant tree growing in the toilet. If you didn't catch that, we have to get your eyes checked. Then we have an upside down spout, which is definitely not good. We have here, he is wearing a sock in the bathroom and we have a little fish in this bottle. So this fish should not be in that shampoo bottle. No siree. I began to dress. Then I said, wow, four more things were wacky now. Can you see them? So we knew about this shoe on the wall, but now we have, let's see here. Uh-oh, I found them, did you? I might have to zoom out a bit for you to see everything. So there's two more shoes on the ceiling, one shoe under the bed, and this chair leg is cut, but not fallen over yet, weird. I looked in the kitchen, I said, bye cracky, five more things are very wacky. Go ahead and pause. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is a bug. A lot of the, the chair legs or table legs, those seem to be different. So let's see, the bug is holding up a whole fridge. No way. Someone's cooking an umbrella. That is not okay. Just like we had the worm chasing the bat, or excuse me, the bird, now we have the mouse chasing the cat. And who took a huge chunk out of the table? Ugh. Oh, and I forgot to say, sorry, I counted only four. And we have here our floating coffee mug. So it should be dangling like these other ones, but it's not uh, holding on to anything. So one, two, three, four, five. I was late for school, I started along, and then I saw that six more things were wrong. Okay, I'll hold it here, go ahead and pause. Okay, so I, if you had paused it already, you might not have seen it. Uh, I think I, I cut it off, but there is a tree growing in the chimney. So we had a tree in the toilet, now a tree in the chimney. Let's see. So this looks fine, that, that kid's wonking, it's okay. We got these three girls, it's okay. And then we go, what a woman! She, is, she has a tiger as her baby. This house is missing a door, so already we're at one, two, three. Now I thought this house looked fine until I saw its window floating along. So one, two, three, four. It's fine that these people are walking, there's a bread truck, there's a person driving in the car, but... Eh? The passenger is in the front of the car and in the back the person's driving. So my goodness, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and that sixth one right here. So these houses, each one of these houses had something wrong. The stairs aren't going up to the step. Isn't that crazy? Believe it or not, I've actually seen that in real life before. And then seven more. Well, you know what to do, pause it. Okay, so what we're having here is this person has a shoe on his head. This person is walking the car because it only has uh, two wheels in the front. Stop and go have switched colors, which is very dangerous. We have this uh, duck, I guess, in the shoe. And we have the for sale sign is in, in front of this house, but this house is missing a wall. So definitely not okay. Speaking of missing this um, electrical line, that's missing a uh, its pole. And then the sun is green. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the Sutherland sisters, they looked wacky too. They said, nothing is wacky around here but you. Oh, do you see anything wrong with the girls? So just focus on the girls. She seems fine, but the one in the middle has no legs. Meanwhile, this one's missing a neck. But look, 
look, I yelled, eight things are wrong here at school. Nothing is wrong, they said, don't be a fool. So let's look here and try and see if we can find out what's wrong. Go ahead and pause the video. Hmm. Okay, so we know that we should be looking for shoes, right? So we have a shoe hanging here, but while we're also looking at this table, or excuse me, tree, I don't know why I said table, looking at this tree, there's a turtle inside. So there's our two things. Looking here, I see some animals have made it into the school. So there's three things. The for sale is fur sale. So we're definitely not selling fur at our school. One, two, three, four. Here we have the girls are walking. They look all right. The cat looks all right. George Washington Sco Scow. All right, so that's just spelled wrong. So one, two, three, four, five. Our flag is wrong. Six. There's a shoe on top. Seven. And right here, this pole is cut, making it number eight. Wow. I ran into school. I yelled to Ms. Bass, look, nine things are wacky right here in your class. So no one's believing him. Go ahead and pause it. Mm. Now, I don't know about you, but I immediately looked here to see if maybe there was something wrong. E, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Eh? Why is these wrong? So there we have one, but luckily the math problems are right. But when you're looking at these girls doing the math problems, you might have noticed she's standing on his head. So there's a second problem. The third problem I noticed was he's not in a chair. So we have one, two, three. That's not George Washington. You all know that's Abraham Lincoln, George Washington was our first president. So we already know that the school's gotten two things wrong about George Washington. So we have one, two, three, four. Ah, there's an old man in class. Five, speaking of class, this one's facing the wrong way. Six, he has no head. Seven, so he's not facing anywhere. Eight, with our teacher wearing a uh, roller skates, and nine, another shoe. If you've noticed, though, his books keep changing color. So his yellow books were green right here. Then on this page, they were like a yellowish green. On this page, they were yellow. So I feel like that's a little mess that's uh, a wacky thing that's been following us around. Nothing is wacky here in my class. Get out. You're the wacky one. Out, said Miss Bass. Without even looking, that's not George Washington again. Go ahead, you can pause. So in this one, George Washington is wrong. Well, at least she got her shoes back. But check this out, the phone cord's going through a plant and being eaten by a mouse. So we had a couple things wrong here. I went out the school door, things were worse than before. I couldn't believe it, 10 wacky things more. So let's look at the things that were wacky before and see if they fix that. All right, they fixed George Washington's school at least. Uh-oh, go ahead and pause, see if you can find the other mistakes. Remember when I said his books keep changing colors? Well, now his book's an alligator. So we have one thing wrong there, a shoe again, and the flag is wrong. There's three problems. George Washington, well, they spelled it right, but he's facing the wrong way on his horse. So we have one, two, three, four problems. There's a shoe on the car that makes five. A woman's walking her baby on top of the car that makes six. There's a giraffe in the sewer, okay? That's definitely something wacky. So that would make seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to find the three more. And if you look closely, you'll see another shoe that makes eight. 
Up here, we have a floating house that makes nine, or well, it's not exactly a house, it's more like a building. And lastly, 10, we have this man sitting, which looked fine to me until I realized he's sitting in the water. Then I counted 11. Ugh, I'll do my best to hold it. All right, go ahead and pause. Now, if you're looking here, you'll see one of the trees has turned yellow, but there's also a chimney in the tree that should have been over here by the school. So when I looked at the school's chimneys, I saw this shoe in the smoke. And I said, we have to look at this school some more. I feel like the windows are all right and there's a door there, but this door's sideways. Luckily, at least they fixed the flag. Now the school's apparently for sale, which is funny, but instead of F-O-R, they've done F-O-U-R. Four sale. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five things already. My goodness. Six here when you see the woman's carrying the tree. Seven here when you see that crocodile's now in this uh, in this baby carriage. We have eight here. If you see that this woman has a uh, little ski, I guess you could say, on her um, on her baby carriage. We have nine when you see this woman's baby carriage has no wheels, and 10 when you see this woman's baby carriage has one wheel. Oh my goodness. And last but not least, I personally don't think that this is really that wacky, but I guess they were trying to come up with things. We have a yellow bird. Then 12 worse things. I got scared and I ran. I ran and knocked over Patrolman McGann. Go ahead and pause. Did you do it? Okay. So I'm looking over here trying to see what's going on. Now, the airplane's going backwards because this, this wind means that he's shooting off, not shooting down. And there shouldn't be a door randomly in the park, right? So we have one and two. Looking at the people walking, she has the wheels, and the wheels are actually feet now. So that's three. That tiger's back walking a baby. That's four. This woman's feet are missing shoes. That's five. This woman's baby's upside down. That's six. This baby's pushing her daddy. That's seven. Oh, my goodness. Now, number eight is this chicken pig. Number nine is this two cow, I guess. <laughs> and number 10 is all these babies here. Now, 11 and 12, you have to look very closely. So 11 here I see is this floating window. Now, Miss Remitz, maybe you could help her out. I, I had trouble. I don't know if I double counted something, but otherwise everything had looked normal to me. So maybe you can tell me in the comments below if you found out something different. But Miss Remitz has here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, that was odd. That was wacky. I'm sorry, Patrolman, that's all I could say. Don't be sorry, he smiled. It's kind of a day, but be glad. Wacky Wednesday will soon go away. Oh, so even the Patrolman knows about Wacky Wednesday, which if you look here, he has a shoe on his badge. So maybe he's the Wacky Wednesday police. His hat's not on and his hand's in a shoe. Only 20 things more will be wacky, he said. Just find them and then you can go back to bed. All right, first graders, this is our last wacky page. So go ahead, pause the screen and see if you can find them all. Okay, are you ready? Let's see if we can find them all. So obviously we shouldn't have roads going into the sky, right? So there's one right there. I see two suns, so there's two. The third thing I saw was that the airplane is in the road, but the house is floating. So one, two, three, four. While I'm also looking at floating things, I see this car is floating, that's five. There's a woman in the street, that's six. This chimney's floating, that's seven. And this house, or house, this tree is cut, that's eight. These houses are stacked onto each other, that's nine. 
There's a shoe on the bush, that's 10. This baby's floating, which there's no carriage, that's 11. These babies are walking, that's 12. This mom is sitting, that's 13. This mom has no face, that's 14. This man's upside down, that's 15. This bush has a wheel, that's 16. They're rolling out the sidewalk, that's 17. This pig has no feet, that's 18. This fish is fishing a man, and that's 19. And last but not least, could you find the 20th? I bet you weren't looking at our main characters. 20 is this man has three feet. It always comes back to the shoes and feet. Oh. Lucky Wednesday was gone when I counted them all, and I even got rid of that shoe on the wall. The end. Well, my first grade friends, now that we have read Wacky Wednesday, let's do some wacky writing. I'm excited. I get to use my new uh, writer's notebook, so let me write my name on it, Miss Remitz. What you're going to do is find a brand new page for me. It's right at the beginning. And I want you to write what's something wacky you can do or what someone you know can do in case you think you don't have anything wacky. So some, oh, my, my S is floating. That's not good. At least I capitalized it. Some, ing, that's all one word. Something wack, wacky. Hey, look, a tricky Y. Something wacky I can do. Make sure you make I capital because it's a name. I can do is Ah, 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 Oh, hey, oh, there's that CH digraph. Touch, ah, 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 It doesn't look right, but maybe I'll get spelling help. Something I can do is touch my, tricky Y, my nose. Oh, magic E, my nose. What if my uh, um, good. tongue, tongue, that looks like tongue, but tongue, maybe I'll get help with that too, exclamation point, because I'm happy about that, woohoo, now if you have more wacky things, feel free to show us, or write it here, and you can even draw it, so maybe I'll draw my face, And I'll have my open mouth, and then <laughs> I guess here I'll have my tongue. That looks kind of funny. And I'll say, ta-da. It's hard to speak, though, because I got my tongue on my mouth, my tongue on my nose. <laughs> so show us what wacky thing you can do. When you're done writing, you can share what you wrote and show us your wacky thing, as long as it's appropriate, right? You can show our wacky thing in today's Flipgrid. Well, my 4B friends, that is our other asynchronous activity for Dr. Seuss. I hope you enjoyed Wacky Wednesday. Did you find everything? No? Did you kind of have to have me help you a bit? Or maybe were your eyes really turned on today? I hope you had fun writing your wacky thing or if you're about to start writing it. Don't uh, forget in today's Google Classroom page where you're watching this video, I have a Flipgrid there for you to post what wacky thing you can do. So share your writing and then show us and make sure it's appropriate, all right? I will see you tomorrow, friends. Bye.